Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Pound and I'm back with another chapter, chapter 28 on color. And we just finished chapter 27 on light. So this is basically a continuation of our discussion on light, focusing on color. So our objectives for this video are to differentiate between color versus black and white, to understand color by reflection, to understand color by transmission, and to know what color we see best. So section 28.1, the color spectrum. So a spectrum, this, this is a spread of color when sunlight or white light is passed through a prism or diffraction grating. So basically the rainbow of colors. Um, white light is what we get from the sun and that light is a combination of all colors that when it passes through something like a prism, um, we see all of those colors. We also see it in the form of a rainbow. White is not a color. It is a combination of colors. It does not have an individual frequency. Black is also not a color. It is the absence of light. All visible frequencies of light are absorbed. So when anybody asks you what your favorite color is, you really can't tell them black or white because they're not colors. <laughs> so color by reflection. The petals of a daffodil appear yellow and the leaves appear green because the flowers reflect yellow, red, and green light and absorb the other frequencies. Now, this red and green topic here, we're actually going to cover that further because you're like, red and green? What? Okay, so we're going to talk about that, how our traditional um, understanding of combining colors from art class isn't quite white what's going on a lot of times. Um, there's more to color mixing than what we learned in art class. The leaves reflect green and absorb the other colors. The color of an object looks different in daylight, candlelight, and under a fluorescent lamp because in daylight there are all of the colors candlelight has more yellowish light to it and fluorescent lamps are a bluish light and what happens is objects can only reflect frequencies that are shining on them so you might notice that when you put try on say an outfit in a store that has fluorescent lamps it looks different on you outside if you were to look in a mirror or at home when you look in a mirror because of the fluorescent lamps in the store. You might notice this with your skin tones as well that actually under fluorescent lamps your skin tones look a little more bluish. Um, you look a little washed out where if it's candlelight or daylight you get more of those yellow tones in your skin um, and so colors will look different under different light. Color by transmission. Um, when we're talking about color by transmission, um, we tend to use pigments for color. This is a material that selectively absorbs colored light. So when you're painting, you're using pigments. And we can also put pigments in glass and get stained glass or colored glass and a red piece of glass is red because it transmits red and absorbs all other visible frequencies of light. The same with the blue and the yellow and the green in this stained glass window. It's what it is transmitting that makes it that color as opposed to with surfaces that are not transmitting it is the reflection. Window glass is colorless because it transmits all visible frequencies of light equally well. So it lets through everything. And finally, sunlight. Although sunlight contains all colors of light, the brightest color for us is yellow green. That's what our eyes, God designed our eyes to pick up the best. And so it is the most visible to us. This is why 
Tennis balls are yellow green because our eyes are most sensitive to the yellow green light. And so when you're playing a fast game of tennis, it's easiest for your eyes to pick up that yellow green color. Um, the same would be true of actually the best color for say an ambulance, an emergency vehicle is more of a yellow green. And you do see some yellow ambulances out there, um, even though one of the most popular colors is like red and white and things like that. But actually yellow green on emergency vehicles would catch our attention more because it is easier for us to see. So just remember that you want to get somebody's attention, you want them to see something really well, use yellow green. Probably why it's the most popular highlighter color too, that yellow. So our objectives were to differentiate between color versus black and white, to understand color by reflection, to understand color by transmission, and to know what color we see best. So don't forget your five questions, and we will be talking more about color. Uh, next video will be about color mixing. One of my favorite uh, things to do is to mix colored light. It's just a lot of fun. So I'll see you later.